Hello everyone and welcome to the Big Bang. Have you ever thought about how photosynthesis is related to thermodynamics? What is photosynthesis? Plants convert light energy into chemical energy, which is then stored in sugars or carbohydrates. That chemical energy is then transformed into heat energy. The oxygen we breathe is released as a byproduct. Photosynthesis is a fundamental pillar of our entire ecosystem. Now, what is thermodynamics? Thermodynamics explains how different forms of energy are related to each other. The first law of thermodynamics states that energy cannot be created nor destroyed. However, one type of energy can be converted into another. Conservation of energy is different from the availability of energy. As plants transform and store solar energy into sugars, and then we eat the plants for nutrients and energy, the metabolism of those sugars releases heat, which is the least ordered form of energy. On a macroscopic scale, solar energy enters the earth and heat leaves the earth. Let's zoom into the processes that happen on the earth for this energy conversion to happen. The photosynthesizing organisms on the earth will store the light energy as chemical energy. If we look at a molecule of glucose, the atoms themselves do not contain energy. Rather, the bonds between the atoms take energy to form and release energy once broken. Once the bonds are broken, heat energy is released. In cellular respiration, this heat energy is captured in another form of usable energy, ATP. Ultimately, the solar energy that entered the Earth will be converted into heat energy that is released back into the atmosphere. So, this important process of photosynthesis rests on two very important thermodynamics principles. The first law of thermodynamics, which states that energy is conserved, and also the second law of thermodynamics, which states that spontaneous processes will increase the entropy of the universe. This directionality of energy flow is not always straightforward. The trapping of energy released into the atmosphere is one cause of climate change. So you can see why understanding thermodynamics is so important to understanding fundamental processes like photosynthesis and the role of energy conversion in climate change. Now that you know a bit more about energy conversion, can you think of more ways to convert energy into a usable format, such as capture energy for work? Thank you.